Hi everybody, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavan here with an update on a one storm that we're watching right now. Just went through the Conroe area. If you're watching us from Conroe, you know exactly what we're talking about. This thing came blowing through uh, downtown with some really, really strong winds. It's continuing to move south right now on I-45 towards the Houston Metro. The big question is, whether or not it will hold together. So here it is, our one lone severe thunderstorm in the entire area. We, you know, we, we talked about this weather impact alert yesterday and last night. We mentioned the fact that today was not going to be an all day washout, that a lot of us weren't going to see rain. But we stipulated that by saying if you end up seeing rain today or a storm, there's a good chance things could get serious in a hurry. So that's what we got going on right now. Let's get in for a closer look. I want to switch over to our um, wind detector. This is our, we use it typically to diagnose rotation for tornadoes, but we can also use it to diagnose straight line, strong damaging winds. And notice that core of green that pushed right from Panorama Village right to the core of Conroe in the last few minutes. As we get in for a closer look, you can see we've got wind gusts in here right now, upwards of about 40 to 45 miles per hour. In the last 10 minutes though, as that core of heavy wind went through downtown Conroe, the wind speeds on the radar were estimated between 60 and 70 miles per hour. Now we're waiting to, to, to actually hear from Conroe to see if there's any damage, any power outages, uh, any trees or, or branches down. But uh, look, radar doesn't lie, right? These are the actual numbers that we're seeing out there. So this is a strong storm. It looks like it's weakening a little bit right now, but this storm has had a history of kind of cycling through phases where it's a little bit weaker and then it gets strong all of a sudden and then it weakens again. So we got to keep an eye on this thing as it pushes south. As we go back over to radar, you can see it's following this boundary all the way. I mean, just straight down I-45 here, passing through uh, Cut and Shoot and Panorama Village and Conroe. Uh, the next stop is going to be spring for this storm. So this severe thunderstorm warning includes uh, Oak Ridge North, Spring and the Woodlands. This goes until 5 o'clock this evening. And the uh, warning is in effect for the potential to see these 60 mile per hour winds. And again, if the storm gets even stronger, they may have to increase that value. But this is going right into the Houston Metro. The hope is that it weakens before it gets here, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, and as we widen out the shot, you can see this is pretty much the only game in town. So this came all the way up from the Huntsville area and has just been diving south here following the straight line of I-45 uh, through uh, first Walker County, now into Montgomery County. And eventually, if it holds together, this will be coming into Harris County within the next 30 to 40 minutes or so. So spring heads up for you. I would expect this storm by the top of the hour. So about five o'clock is when you're going to start to see some maybe straight line damaging wind gusts, uh, maybe some small hail as well. A lot of lightning and a lot of rain with this. Good news though, it's a quick mover. It's in and out and it's the only spot that's seeing rain right now. Everybody else has sunshine, a couple clouds out there. It's a good pool day. It's a good day to be out and about. Uh, but if you start to hear thunder in the distance, know that there's a potential you could be seeing some stronger storms in the near future. This is a live look right now. This is from uh, Transtar. This is I-45. We're looking north. Uh, this is at State Highway 105. So this is right in the Conroe area. Uh, you can see the roads are wet. Nothing really looks terrible on here except for just bad road conditions. But when the storm went through, the camera's shaking around. You can see the trees moving quite a bit. So there's a lot of wind associated with this storm. So here's the latest on the weather impact alert. The timing on this is from now till 8 p.m. to see these isolated severe storm chances. Look, if a storm develops, it's going to pack a punch. Wind damage, large hail, tornado risk, not out of the question. Not for everyone, but again, if one develops, that's what we're going to be dealing with. Future track picking up on this pretty well. So it brings that storm far south, uh, eventually into Harris County, but it does show it weakening. So there's the good news. I think by the time it gets into the city of Houston, it's going to be weakening quite a bit. We'll also be watching another storm here back to the north and west moving towards the Brenham area that could cause some issues for Washington County that won't weaken probably until it reaches I 10. But our storm right now that's moving along I 45 should fall apart once it gets uh, through Harris County and then into the overnight. Everything should turn much quieter. We'll watch a couple of storms far to the north up across Waco, but I doubt those actually make it in here through the overnight hours. So there's your severe weather outlook uh, in the yellow that indicates the highest risk for these strong to severe storms. And of course that does extend into our area, cuts off at I-10, but does include a good portion of the Houston Metro. The green indicates areas that could see severe weather, but the chance is much lower. So the highest chance that bullseye is really here in the yellow where we could see wind and that hail threat. All right, just to reset again very quickly, we're still watching this storm just passed through Conroe, big wind maker here. You can see that big green blob there on the radar pushing south. 
That's the core of the strongest winds with this storm. Uh, just passing through Conroe now, things are starting to calm down there. Winds are now down to 10, 20 miles per hour, but in the core of that heaviest wind, we're still seeing 35, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. So this storm will continue to move towards the spring area. It should get there by the top of the hour. Severe thunderstorm warning goes till 5 o'clock. We are going to have an update, a full breakdown on this storm threat uh, as we get into the evening. That's coming up on the KHOU 11 News at 530. That is if golf doesn't push us a little bit later. If you're watching golf, we'll be on right after. And if we end up getting blown out, we'll do another update here online just to kind of outline how the severe threat's evolving for the rest of the evening. Again, it's an isolated threat. It's not for everyone, but if you hear thunder this evening, chances are there's a strong storm headed your way and you want to go 